Hey everyone and welcome back to the react native animation series so from this particular video we are going to start learning the basic concepts how you can implement animation in your react native project so you can see that i'm in the official doc and here in this uh, animation section there are mainly two type of animation api you need to learn the first one is animated api and the second one is this is layout animation api but for now we will be learning this one later because most of the concepts are basically based on this animated api now obviously there are a lot of things you can do but the first thing what you need to know is that this animated api is export some of the inbuilt components type for example i think if you know the react native basic component concepts then you know that we are having this view component text component image component scroll view flat list and section list and also i think in my uh, react native series i covered all of these components so if you want you can check there also and also let's say if you want to create your own component that will basically implement the react native animation in that case i think in my introductory video i already told you that we need to basically use this create animated component method but for now let's forget about this one so the first thing what we are going to do we will be basically animating all of these uh, components one by one in next couple of videos so first we are going to start with this view component but for that let's go to this animated api section and here you will get all the information that you basically need now obviously you can do lot of configuration and also lot of things uh, from this particular animated api the first thing what you need to know is that all of these methods now there are a lot of methods that you can do and don't worry i will be covering each and every method one by one so first we are going to start with this timing method and this is one of the very very important method and also first we are going to start learning the animated properties that is called opacity now opacity is one of the very very important concept that you can implement in your project if you are implementing animation in your project basically you need to basically use this opacity properties most of the time so what we are going to do you can see that i already created a simple react native project i have nothing else here and we'll create one simple box here and then we will be basically having one button so that will be like fade in button so on click of this button we want to change that box opacity from zero to one and then next video we will be having another button that will be fade out and on click of that we want to basically hide that or basically we want to make the opacity as zero again so it will be zero to one and one to zero and let's see how we are going to do that so as i already told you we will be using this timing uh property here or method you can say now here you need to know one thing is that this basically use this easing module now in this easing module we are having lot of methods some of the predefined animation standard function and for for now let's forget about all of this because this is like some of the methods we can obviously implement while implementing this box animation but for now let's uh, check this uh, properties here so this basically animation uh, dot timing method will take a value property that we will be learning and also it will take a configuration object now in this configuration object we will be having the duration of that particular animation the easing function that i already told you so the default is actually in out but if you want you can change it to some other method also then there is a delay is interaction and this use native driver this flag this you need to make this one as true whenever this is recorded but i know this is very very easy to understand but to implement this one you need to know some of the uh, concepts so let's see how we are going to do that all right everyone so as you can see that i'm currently in this app.js and i have nothing else here so this is basically the by default code we'll be getting while installing the project so what i'm going to do first i'll remove these two part from here we don't need this one and now the first thing is that what you need to do we have to basically import that animated from react native so this is the first step now as i already told you this will eject some of the components inbuilt components that you can use to implement your animation so first i'm going to do animated and once i'll do dot here you'll get all the properties so you can see that we are having this image component flat list scroll view text and the view components so i'm going to take this view here and the first thing what i'm going to do i'll take some style here and i'll do here styles dot box awesome now here uh, i'll do here box and i'm going to take here width as 200 height as 200 i'll take some background color as red sorry this will be red i have to give this one in 
this one and also I'm going to take a margin bottom of 40. So let's save this and you can see that we are getting the box here. Now I'm going to do, I'll take a button here. So I'm going to import button from React Native and here I'm going to give a uh, title like let's do fade this red box and also let's give a color property and I'm going to give this one as black. Okay. So now what we need to do, the first thing is that whenever you will be implementing this uh, animation, we basically have to use the use ref hook and that is also recommended by the official documentation in the React Native. All right. So what we need to do, because we have to manage the opacity of this particular box. So we have to take a uh, initial opacity value for this particular box that opacity can be either 0 1 or it can be between 0 to 1 whatever so what I'm going to do I'll do here const and this will be like box opacity animation value and this will be use ref and then what we need to do we have to basically uh, create the value of this particular opacity of this particular box and how we are going to do that we have to do new and this animated api will give you a value property that you can use now this will be the initial value which will basically return the object and whose current property that you can use and this is not related to any animation uh, concept this is a normal react concept so here i'm going to give this one as zero and you can see that the value can be numbered and this is very important so i'll give here for example zero and then we have to do dot current now this is the current value of this box uh sorry the opposite of this box which is zero now what we need to do so on click of this one we have to make this one from zero to one correct so we have to take a on place method so i'll take your on place and this will be handle fade in uh what to give handle fade in box like whatever you can give and i'll give your function handle fade in box now here what you need to do you have to make this one from 0 to 1 so here we can do that animated dot timing uh, property here the first thing is that this timing method will take a value property now this value is basically this box opacity value that we have taken here and for 2d dimension we have to take a value x y but for now forget about this we have to pass the value property and then we have to pass the configuration and i think this configuration is basically these all the properties that you can give here so now uh, what i'll do here we have to do box opacity animation value so this we want to basically change from 0 to 1 so this will take a object and here i am going to give this one first one as uh, duration so let's give this one as 1000 or one second it will take two value property now two value will be obviously one so we want to make this one from 0 to 1 uh, let's take a delay of 0.2 second we have to use the use native driver as true and you can see that we are having this easing but for now we'll mm, take the default one which is easing dot in out and now what you need to do we have to start this animation and how we can start a animation we have to use this start method so you can see that the animation is started by calling the start method and this will also give you a callback method and inside that callback method you can do certain thing but for now let's keep it like this we'll see how to use the callback in the later videos so that means we are ba basically making from 0 to 1 and we are giving some of the properties and now what we can do we can basically take a uh, style property so this will be opacity style which will be equal to opacity and this opacity is basically this value so this is our style now what we need to do we basically have to merge this style with this this style so in uh, react native what we need to do we can take this bracket and we have to merge both of this so we'll paste it here and then we'll pass this opacity style here so now let's save this and now you can see that currently the opacity is zero so we're not able to see that once i'll click here and you can see that we are basically seeing the uh, box here 
so i hope you are getting so what you have done the first time you make this on a zero point sorry zero and then on click of that we are making this on one all right so i think now this is basically the very basic concept how you can do the animation so that's all for this particular video now in the next video what we can do we'll create another button here and we have to basically hide this or basically fade out this box and after that we'll be learning how to basically we can use this callback method to do certain functionality so that's all for this particular video i'll see you in my next video till then good luck and peace